We get real, real, central educational field. Oh fuck! I need an adult. I'm scared already. Okay, I'm waiting for the blood to come out of the eyes of the pumpkin. There's one magical, haunted evening each year when all the scary creatures come out to prowl through every neighborhood. Christmas? Oh, Jesus! Rose Embargo's trick-or-treating! Do you know why? This little witch doesn't know it. But she's taking some frightening chances of being hurt. <laughs> she went outside looking like that. Her costume is very, very dangerous. Can you see the things that make it dangerous? Uh, first of all, she might be wearing it. She can hardly see through those tiny holes for her eyes. Tiny holes? That looks pretty big to me. Mask, here's what it would be like. It's you like a submarine. In front of you, but unless you happen to turn your head, you would see that thump. coming as you start to cross the street. You could be run over. And unless you look down, you can't see that you're coming to a curve. Yes, three inches of concrete just... Ow. Oh my god, all those Tootsie Rolls are to gone! Hard pavement, but it would be even worse to sprawl out on the street in front of a Well, that's how Gonzo gets his taxis in the Muppets now, Take Manhattan. That we're in that car. Yeah, you know, Can you see her in a day-for-night shot. Why not? What is there about her costume that makes it hard to see her? As the oh, I don't know, because we've got the contrast of black on black. see her until it's too late. And that's really scary. No, really scary is Before what the person was drinking while they were driving that car. See and be seen better. Let's take another look at her costume. Whoops! Down she goes again. Jeez, it's like this see whole short is against masks. Bruises and candy tonight. Let's see if we can help her. Shall we? Ah, shucks! Her, I hate being ten. Things that will help you stay safe at Halloween. Bleh! We need to turn back the clock. If I could totally turn back time. One of the problems with this costume is the fact that her mother is wearing bell bottoms. It's too easy to trip over a long full skirt. So we can shorten the skirt. So we can sew? We should always shorten any skirt, pants, slacks, or cape that is too bad too Jerry the Siamese long. cat couldn't care less. Now the broom. That's a clumsy thing to carry. And it's something that you're likely to trip over in the dark. Ah, oh, yes, the 70s, where 10-year-olds could handle hacksaws. Or round off the sharp points of and toys had little to no consequence to whose eye you were poking it. out. Cardboard brooms and swords are usually safer than wooden ones. Have you ever seen a cardboard cut? Not to carry They're like deadly. In the first place. Now, what else might we change on this costume? To Shorten it up so she can show more leg. What about that color? Remember how hard it was to see the little witch because of her No, dark I have a memory dark. of a goldfish. We should always wear light, bright colors on the street at night so Light, can bright, see us. light, bright. What about oh, yes, make her look like a clansman. A That's a good idea. A different kind of witch. Who's more likely to be safe on Halloween night? Oh, you're so cute, I can just gobble you up. A good way to make any costume easier to see at night is to decorate it with reflective tape. All right, I was joking about the clan outfit, but now you're not doing this joke any Some favors. Come with reflective material <laughs> I'm hideous. Here's what it looks like to a car driver. It, as it's you can tell, it's not much better. Even on the darkest night. And while you're putting reflective tape on the car, put it on your face. You should also add some of it to the bag or container you'll use to carry home your candy. Some yes, Halloween cover up the clown's face. That's the truly horrifying name. thing here. And it's a good idea to write your name, address, and phone number on the sack. So you this know the stalkers can get action. you whenever they feel like it. Now, how about the mask? Any problem with it? Yeah, it's not Majora's you mask. Remember how hard it was to see out through those little eye holes. To be safe at night, you have er, to thump, to thump, clear. thump. As well as we haven't learned a lesson now, have we? We can improve the mask by cutting larger holes to look out of. Or set it on fire so it melts to make it look even more hideous. There. That's better. But yeah, that's quite an improvement on the away. face. Oh wait, that's her mother. 
You can simply not wear a mask. Boo! Oh, you think you need a this mask? This short is maskists. Well, what you do, put a lemon in her face? Do. What is up with those a lips? From your parents, uh, uh, this is the last time I have any bonding with my son. Home. He wants to do makeup. God. Brow pencil. Different colors of eyeshadow. Is he dressing up to be white trash? Lipstick. Oh, little girl, I question your tastes. Some wax teeth. Huh, I didn't know you needed a mouthpiece to go out trick-or-treating nowadays. Maybe some clay and food coloring. And a few other odds and ends. Eh, con! Surprise what you can turn yourself into. It's a me, Pirate Mario! Ah, the 1% that likes clowns. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus, this is everything that comprises of my nightmares. Be sure that it's made of flame retardant material. That so you got a bunch of drunk little people hanging around your house, and that's the last thing I need. Oh, come on, she's a little too young for Hefner, don't you think? And then I told him if they cross the streams, we're all fucked! Our little witch has turned into a beautiful princess. This <laughs> is a pretty princess! <laughs> but there are a few other things you should do before going out. Like not bother going. Eat a big dinner. If you go trick-or-treating while you're hungry, you'll be tempted to sample some of your treats while you're out. You know, and, and then the razors will get stuck idea. in your gums. Keep an eye on the clock. In many places, the police set the hour that you should trick or treat. Make sure you glue the clock to your face. Those times. Neighbors should be ready with treats for you. And Unless they hate you, because your father's a jerk. Make sure you carry a flashlight when you go. <laughs> see where you're going in the dark. But it will also make it easier for others, including drivers. So long, good luck. If you come back and you hear noises in her bedroom, don't open it. Last known photo right here. Always travel with a group. Yeah, be the leader of the pack. It's safer still to have a parent along to keep an eye on things. But why? This is the 70s. Of course, you should always walk. Why? Riding a bicycle at night is always dangerous. Oh, come on! Who doesn't want a little dangerous. danger in their lives? Try to ride in a costume at night. As you go from house to house, stay on the sidewalks as much as possible. But if you live in a country place, you're screwed. If you have to walk in an area where there are no sidewalks... You know, most of the United States... ...the roadway as possible and face the traffic. So you know the killer's that face when you, you die. what's coming and get out of the way if you have to. Was a Cross cat falling a synthesizer? What is with this music? Corners, not in the middle of the block, and never between two parked cars. Why? The cars can't the hit you if they're parked. The street. Cross quickly, but don't run, and don't stop in the middle of the street for any reason. Oh, there's plenty of reason I can think of. When you're trick or treating, your neighbors are probably hoping to see you in costume on Halloween. No, they're not. And it's safest to visit people you know. No, it isn't. Oh my god, the little goblins are here again! I ain't seen this since the Great War! Having trick-or-treaters come to their doors. Bunch of damn freeloaders, get the hell away from me! Who the hell's gonna take an apple? Get that shit out of here! God, you're so weak! Are you just gonna talk, kid, or are you gonna fucking take something? To be completely safe. Save your treats until you get And then home. your parents can throw it all and in the garbage. Ask your parents to help you check them carefully to make sure that there's nothing in them or on them that You know it's documented that none of this shit that they promote in these ever happened, especially with the razors in that. Fruit should be washed before you eat it. Huh, who knew Beast was a homemaker? And all candy bars and fruit should be sliced so you can be certain that there is nothing hard or sharp inside that could hurt You know, you. like seeds. Why are you cutting out butter? If you're not sure whether something is safe or Eat not, it anyway. Don't take any chances. Throw it away. Oh yeah, keep the cocaine for mom. To the fun part of Halloween with the princess and her friends. Again, the cat is on the synthesizer. It needs to stop. Link? Oh, we're going to get Almost down with some soft rock right now. Riddle. 
What's your trick? What you guys eat for breakfast? What? <laughs> Boo! Get off the stage! You That's suck! A wiener we take out inside. What? A Halloween. Boo! Where? In a blood bank. Here, Oh God! Get away from me! You're worse I'll than Carrot Top. jokes and pranks aren't so funny. If you should break something, it wouldn't be very funny to the owners. Unless you break their foot parents. or their face with a hammer, for it. then it's hilarious. So keep your jokes funny and harmless. Remember, eggs are fun to throw. Tonight has been a magical night. Yeah, if you're bored out of your you skull. Saw a scary monster changed into a beautiful, happy, and safe little princess. How about da, 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 da. Here Will comes the bus, Splat! And have a safe and super Halloween this year. Uh, you kind of want to read that one over again? It just seemed like it cut off. But what do I know? I'm just riffing on a dumb thing. <laughs>